Poseidon, god of the seas and oceans, is the ruler of the waters and creator of earthquakes, son of Rhea and Cronus, who was devoured at birth by his father and was saved by his brother Zeus. His personality was an allegorical representation of how the Greeks saw the sea and storms, Poseidon had the worst temperament among all the gods, he was greedy, stingy and extremely vengeful. So let's get to know the story of Poseidon more thoroughly, let's get started. As we discussed Poseidon was one of the sons of Cronus and Rhea, little Poseidon was one of the victims of his father's devouring fury, Cronus, to prevent one of his sons from dethroning him as he himself had done with his own father, devoured them one by one as they were born. Thus ended Poseidon devoured by his own father. Some stories tell that like his brother, Poseidon was not devoured by Cronus, but was hidden by his mother inside a flock of lambs. According to this story, he was raised by the Telos in the city of Rhodes, nine brothers with dog heads and fish tails. During the battle known as the Titanomachy, Poseidon joined his brother Zeus in the fight against Cronus and the Titans, in which the younger gods were victorious. It was at this time that Zeus, Hades and Poseidon divided, according to Homer, the government of the earth, while Zeus chose the heavens as his sphere of influence and Hades opted for the underworld and the abodes of the dead, Poseidon became the sovereign king of the waters. There are also versions where Zeus divided the world with his older brothers, Poseidon and Hades, doing it to luck, Zeus got the sky and the air, Poseidon the waters and Hades the underworld. It is in this facet of Lord of the Seas in which the ancient Greeks worshipped him in a majority way. However, Poseidon's powers did not end here, because, according to a very ancient tradition, Poseidon was also responsible for earthquakes and earthworks. Poseidon possessed an imposing trident, which he brandished constantly, indeed, when he got angry and hit the seabed with his trident, this caused earthquakes throughout Greece. This trident was bestowed on Poseidon by the Cyclopes during the events of the Titanomachy. Although his character was uncordial and vindictive, sailors throughout Greece offered offerings to Poseidon and above all begged for authorization, thinking that in this way, if they did not offend the god by crossing their domains, he would not fall his wrath on them. Something Odysseus would soon learn, Poseidon's anger with Odysseus was one of the most important aspects of Homer's Odyssey. Winning Poseidon's favor was important to fishermen, as Poseidon filled the nets with fish from those they favored. The above is noteworthy, since, of the three main domains of Zeus, Hades and Poseidon, the sea was the only divine domain to which mortals had regular access, which is why, when they had to venture into it, it was better to try to win the favor of the god beforehand. Possession of Athens instead of fighting a battle, they decided to settle their dispute in a competition whose purpose was to offer the best gift to the population of the city, Poseidon climbed to the top of the Acropolis, hit the ground hard with his trident and sprouted a fountain. Athena instead offered them a hitherto unknown tree, the olive tree. However, Poseidon's power was limited to marine waters, so the source he sprouted was salt water. Athena, in turn, taught sea crops the secrets of olive cultivation, a tree that offered the Athenians both the possibility of feeding directly on its fruit, olives, and the alternative of its elaboration to produce oil. Sea crops, enthusiastic about the economic possibilities of the new crop, granted victory to Athena who thus became the protector and the main divinity of the city of Athens. Poseidon, enraged, caused the fountain that had flowed under his trident to flood a part of Attica with its salty waters. Not satisfied with this revenge, he had his son Eumolpus attack Athens and end the life of Erechtheus, successor of Cecrops. Despite this angry response, the Athenians, a people of seafaring vocation, maintained the cult of Poseidon throughout their history. No doubt we can see that Poseidon was a god of strong character and if you do not want to unleash fury in you you must subscribe to this channel, now if we continue with the video. Another conflict was also the event of the walls of Troy, tells us that, as punishment for offending Zeus, Poseidon was condemned along with his nephew Apollo to serve Laomedon, king of Troy, 
in the services that he required. Laomedon asked both divinities to build colossal walls in their city that no mortal was able to destroy. In return, he promised them a great deal of rewards and sacrifices in his honor. Once the wall was built, Laomedon forgot to keep his promise, ignoring the threats of the gods. As punishment, Poseidon sent to Troy a sea monster that ravaged its shores for years, until Heracles killed him. Another story we will see is about Peleus and Neleus and this legend tells us that, Tyre was in love with the god Enopeus, but it was an unrequited love. Poseidon falls in love with Tyre and taking advantage of the opportunity, took the form of Enipio and joined her at the sources of the river itself, forming a huge wave. From this union were born the twins Peleus and Neleus, whom Tyre had to take care of on Poseidon's orders. However, he abandoned the children on a mountain, where they were raised by a shepherd as if they were his own children. At the beginning of his reign, Poseidon set out to find a wife, and soon became infatuated with the beautiful Nereid Amphitrite, but she rejected him and fled from him. Fortunately for him, his friend Dauphin, the god of dolphins and his lieutenant, went in search of Amphitrite and managed to persuade her to reconsider the offer saying that Poseidon was considerate and kind. After the grandiose wedding, Poseidon rewarded Dauphin with gratitude by creating a constellation in his honor. Poseidon and Amphitrite had three sons Triton, Rhodo, and Cymopolia. Like Zeus, Poseidon also had numerous children with several other goddesses and mortal women, such as Theseus and Bellerophon. Amphitrite never acted with hostility towards any of her husband's children, unlike Hera. The offspring of Olympus are numerous and of very different characteristics. Gods, demigods, heroes, nymphs, centaurs, winged horses, and many other species are among their parents. Among the main sons of Poseidon are, Triton, Pegasus, Polyphemus, Charybdis, Theseus, Bellerophon. Among his mortal children are, with Aphrodite he had Herophile and Rhodus. With Canes he had, Aleo had A. With Uriel, Orion. With Libya he had Agenor and Bello. With Urinome he had Bellerophon, with Sally Jackson he had Percy Jackson, with Tyre he had Neleus and Pelia. Poseidon overwhelms us with many myths and if you want to know more myths and know the history of your children, do not forget to subscribe, see you in the next video see you later.